I just thought let's have a stop here. Here you see the Good morning ladies and gentlemen or good evening or hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Noel Simard. I am an automotive photographer and videographer and blogger and I, I love cars to make it easy. And today we have a really, really, really great classic or upcoming classic. Let me, let me explain, explain it like that. And I think you would like it too. Here you see the 997.2 Porsche Carrera. Five points why the 997 generation is the ultimate Porsche generation. The day-to-day -day usability and also the space, it's perfect engineered in the 997. The car is not too big, the wheelbase is not too long, you fit in tiny parking lot spaces. I mean, it sounds strange, but if you want to drive the 997 daily, these few points are important. Point two. Fun fact about the 997, particularly in this car, that this car is an absolute beast when it's going around fuel efficiency. I already had a great road trip with particular this car to Swiss. I needed 7.8 liters on the Autobahn at 100 kilometers an hour. Yeah, yeah, I could drive 130, 120 and so on. By, but the first thing is I had time. Second thing is I want to know how low and how full efficient is this car. After going 300 kilometers an hour for around about 20 minutes, I got a few consumption for around about after 280 kilometers of 8.9 liters. After that I was driving perfectly to the allowed speed limit. Point three is social approve. I mean, I live in Stuttgart. If I'm driving around with the 992, 99.9% .9 the people will say, okay, this might a car from the company, he's working at Porsche. And also like with the 991, because the car looks too, too new. And the 997 already has a pretty timeless design speech. The bodywork, the headlights, the rear tail lights, the sound because we got here you now OPF. This car already gives the people of look this is kind of a classy car. Point four. This and the 991 in particular these two generations are the two last generations where you get a white body and a small body and I think 
this particular change about these two things, this generation of cars, made this car a little more special because there were much more diverse combination of colors, bodies, wheels, also body parts like a blade in the front, a big wing in the back and so on. Point five, last but not least, in my eyes, I mean at point three I already told it, is that this generation, it doesn't matter if it's, it's the 997.1 or the 997.2, this is the last generation of Porsche 911 without having an OPF in the facelift. Let's hear that. It feels so puristic and real. What a car. What a car. So, little camera change and why that? In the first scene, okay. Okay. in the first scenes I filmed with the DJI Osmo Pocket. And now I'm filming with my Canon EOS R. Why that? Why not? I'm a camera guy and now I need to now I need to fill up the gas from the Carrera and then I have to gonna I have to pick up my wife. After having a road trip through Stuttgart with the 997, I just thought let's have a stop here at the Porsche Museum. At the end, what I see in here is five cars, five matchups. Here, a little video of my Instagram story. Guys, absolutely video, mad. Two GT3 RSs, thought, one Turbo S, one Boxster four cylinder, and, and one Boxster GT4 S. Wow, I mean came in GT4S of course, not Boxster, one Boxster and one GT4S.
what a matchup. Absolutely, absolutely great. And five guys doing a road trip. Yes, they were also at France. Now they are in Germany hitting the Porsche Museum. Wow, just, <laughs> just big wow. I will sleep very well tonight, very well. It was great. <laughs>